Hello my friends and welcome to Corruption 2029 The Campaign. We are of course starting from the beginning. On the hardest difficulty, after my first impressions video, I think uh, I came off with a really good first impression of this game. So let's do a full campaign, beginning to end. Let's kill them all. We're gonna skip the uh, the early plot here. Actually, I don't really think you can skip uh, skip most of it. Oh yeah, you can. Excellent. Let's rumble. Commander, this is Mission Navigator Eos. I need you to close all other comms and remain on this channel. Your priority should be to locate any surviving crew members and link them to the squad. Sending some rough coordinates to get you started. Okay, let's go. So yeah, in my first impressions, of course, we watched we watched the uh, the f story and played through the first three missions, uh, and I had a great time. Now we are going to play through the whole lot. Okay. I just wanted to put these guys into hide mode. Not necessarily to actually, you know, hide randomly behind a random tree. So, this craft of ours must have been really big, because there's pieces of it everywhere. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting a small number of NAC troops. They seem to be grouped around one of our units. Proceed with caution. I <laughs> remember I played this on my first impressions. I just walked right up to them and they were like, oh. Maybe you won't end up like your friend over there. Quickly, snuff him out. Our orders didn't include anything about prisoners. Forgot how to talk? You fucking traitor. You think you're better than us? Some sort of hero? Mindlessly following orders that have been pumped into your head? Damn terrorist! Get ready for an ambush, my friends. You have not been spotted. Spot this. Hi, buddy. Friendly's down. Oh, there's another one over there. Well, they've uh, had to waste their whole turn trying to stop me here, so good luck with them. Good luck to them. To done. At least this mu do you know what the music in this game is really quite cool like it actually suits what we're doing got it having been so disappointed with phoenix points music of just never ending ambient noise it is nice to hear some music that makes you feel like you're actually in combat right now Arise. That's the last surviving unit. Checking the status of our VTOL. The dropship was destroyed upon impact. All ordnance carried on board has also been lost. Scanning the area for alternative transport. Okay. Silent weapon. Alright. I found an NAC harpy in close vicinity, unarmed but heavily armored. So you should be able to bully through any flak. Sending coordinates. It's, uh, oh man, that guy. Oh, that guy got wrecked. I don't know if there's any, like, items hidden around here. They've obviously gone to a lot of effort to do the environments. As you know, um, there are pickups available, like medkits and, uh, 
grenades and so on and so forth. So it can be worth just looking around. I should probably have turned off stealth mode. I don't think there are any more enemies on this map. No, it doesn't look like there's anything else around here. You can actually sprint, but not while you're in stealth mode. Right, let's go. Next area. Let's clean these boys out. I took damage on my first attempt, but this time I just walked through. The harpy appears to be loosely guarded. Most likely the remainder of the response team. Okay, guess you can't go up there. It's very wise to actually uh, travel around in stealth mode. It is very not wise to be running around. Commander, you are free to approach your objective however you like. Use sneak to scope out objectives and look for weak points. No, oh, civilian no. Use brute force to attempt to overpower the enemy. Okay. I'm not a fan of walking through lights either. You would think that that would reveal you. I guess it doesn't. You guys reckon I can just sneak on in? And just ignore the whole lot of them? Doesn't look like it, right? That liquidator there. That liquidator has got the uh, the entrance to that dropship totally covered. Wait here. Wait here. Wait here. You. With the silenced weapon, come with me. Oh, can I just keep doing this? No. <laughs> I thought I might be able to set up another distraction here, but I guess not. Five percent chance. Let's go. Oh, he missed. That was not clever. I got it. Uh, 
god. The enemy! I need assistance! Monitoring position. What a pain when you miss, huh? Well, that's our own Jesus for you. However, he's in a bad position, so I might be able to just punish here. Five from there. Okay, I, there's no position where it's not a 75. Okay. You managed to not miss two 75s in a row, that's good. range because this oh god I keep doing that because the uh, sniper rifle's got a short range uh silenced rifle has got a short ranged defending area overwatch loading ammo good opportunity to reload here holding position Sharp. Covering. No chance to hit still. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Did you get a shot from there? That's actually crazy. Overwatch. It's actually crazy that you got a shot from there. Only a 25% chance to hit from there as well.
Well, at least my Overwatch actually went off that time. Wow, I'm like high cover there and he still hit me. Amazing how difficult that. that was. Ah, oh, and I thought I was going to be going into the next fight with full health. Fat chance, huh? Roger. Holding position. Alright, I've got him. 100% from here. Nicely done, Commander. That's our ride secured. Oh. I will update you from inside the harpy. And to think it all went south because of a uh, a 75% chance to hit a shot that went south. No problem though, we we recovered it. I don't know if there's any more gear around. In fact yes, there is, there's a grenade. I love that. Configurable grenade. Pretty important pickup. Okay, mission complete. What a what a pain in the ass that nearly <laughs> that nearly became at the end there. I was gonna quietly pick off all the enemies, and then I miss a seventy five percent chance shot, and I'm just like, great. Thanks, guys. I am patching directly into the Harpy's onboard computer. Operation data incoming. Okay. Five hours ago, an NAC communique was intercepted, which highlighted the activation of a weapon of mass destruction. Code name, Savior. These are your current All right, cool. missions. The UPA will authorize implant usage depending on mission performance. If you are feeling like you really want to stick it to the NAC, you can try to... <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so... Hmm. <clears throat> Bonus rewards. Kill seven enemy units in one tactical round. Kill seven enemy units using Boyo Max 15. Use a maximum of one tactical rounds. Interesting challenges here. I presume that using only one tactical round means you're going to have to go straight for the computer and either get it without, without tripping off any of the enemies or... Uh, use the C4 that's in this mission to actually uh, detonate all the enemies in one giant blast. All right. 
Let's go. This is where you can assign weapons and implants. Each unit can carry up to two weapons into the field. They can be given up to three active implants in any combination you like. Squad stats and passive implant data is also displayed here. Okay, well we don't we don't have anything at this point in time. We have literally nothing, so this screen shows our current knowledge of NAC territory. You can choose your landing site and view NAC intel. Be advised, you cannot change the squad's loadout during an active mission. All right. Let's drop at Shady Oaks Motel. This is the first, the game's first proper mission. Let's see if we can actually do this one stealthily. Commander, I'm picking up high levels of signal decay in the area. The jammers must be close. Keep an eye out for the master terminal. If your units can access this, it will deactivate all the jamming towers connected to it. Commander, have your units locate and disable the master terminal. And we're off. So over that way is where the bonus objective is, where the bonus dude is. He's actually pretty hard to kill. All right, there's actually an item over here. Let's see if we can do this mission real sneaky like. Oh, it's just a newspaper. I thought it might be a grenade or a med kit or something interesting. Nope. This is a really pretty environment, actually. Real sneaky like. Thing is, I've only got one stealth weapon. So it's not like, you know, if there are two guys talking to each other, there's no way I can stealthily remove them. This guy's like on his own, isn't he? I wonder if there's like a quick save in this game. I guess not, huh? Am I allowed to go back here? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, it looks to me like there's one dude there and he is just literally sat in front of the terminal where I need to be. So how quietly we can pull this off, I'm not sure. very hard to actually see in there to see what's going on. All oh, right, he's just a That liquid air is the main problem. But I think I can pick some of these boys off. Got it.
Affirmative. Ah, I keep doing that. Am I... Let's just temporarily exit combat here. I need him to wander a little bit closer. If I could pick him off and pick the other guy off. This'll do. 75% again. Readings just spike suddenly. I'm going to use the distraction to pull that guy away from the box. But first things first, I need to get rid of this guy. Quietly. Yeah. It's mine, all mine. <laughs> yes. Filthy. You deserve a commendation for this. Nice. Is it use a maximum of one tactical rounds? I think I needed to just pick off one guy. Out of those two guys there, I think I just need to pick off the one by the radio. Then use the radio to draw the other guy out of the room. But, whatever. Whatever, that was uh, pretty cool. And you can repeat these missions anyway. You can do them over and over. So, if you want to go back and get the medals and stuff or do the bonus objectives, you totally can. So these are all still available and I can go back here and give them another bash. There is that ranged weapons boost for killing that guy in the top corner. I'm not really sure what the what the medals do. Like, whether they result in, like, currency that lets you get more stuff, or, or uh, whether they're just there for fun. I'm not quite sure. Kill seven units in one round. Kill seven units using Boyo Max 15. I don't even know what that is. Maybe that's a, uh, an explosive, or... Some kind of splash weapon. You can only imagine it's some kind of splash weapon if they want you to kill seven dudes with it. Okay, so the next mission is Bottleneck. Eliminate all hostiles in the area. Kill three enemy units without causing an alert is the bonus objective. And the reward is an extra four tiles of movement. That's pretty big. That is pretty big. This shotgun might be a quite a nice weapon as well. 
Very short range though. Okay, well. <clears throat> That's it for now. I wasn't expecting that mission to go so quickly, but um, we stealthed it in really, really record-breaking time. We stealthed it down. So, it looks like all of the game's missions have actually got the medals prominently displayed next to them as well, so... I can only presume that the medals will be, uh... will be useful in some way, and maybe we'll go back and do some of them during the campaign, since you are free to go back to any of these missions and redo them whenever you feel like it, to try and get more object uh, more bonuses. And we will have to come back to this mission if only to pick up the weapon range boost implant. I feel like this is actually quite an important upgrade. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you guys will enjoy the corruption campaign and it will be coming out. Um, in theory, it should have not been coming out until uh, March, but uh, I've pushed it forward. So thanks to my wonderful Patreon supporters. We'll be getting some bonus videos out that will be this game. Uh, so join me next time we're going to hit Bottleneck. I'm going to try and avoid sort of having too many missions in one, uh, one episode. Okay, double objective missions. So this is a mission where you have to do two missions at the same time. So you probably want to grab some of this gear first. Anyway, but that is it for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.